Walmart just infuriated 1.4 million of their employees overnight with what they took from all of them. Walmart is one of the biggest retailers in the country and also one of the most popular. The megastore carries everything from groceries to car parts and at much lower prices, which is fantastic to busy Americans who are trying to make ends meet. Not only is Walmart a favorite store to shop at, but it also employs over 1 million Americans in cities and towns across America. However, the superstore just ticked off their employees with what showed up in their stores today and has many employees wondering if they are now out of a job. Most people have shopped at their neighborhood super Walmart, and who can blame them? The store literally has everything a person could need on their shopping list, and usually, it is less than the competition. Seriously, where else could shop for what you are making for dinner and a car battery at the same time? Though for all Walmart's conveniences, they have managed to tick off over 1 million of their employees after deploying shelf-scanning robots in more than 50 U.S. stores to replenish inventory faster and save employees time when products run out. The robot is about 2 feet, 0.61 meter, high and comes fitted with a shelf that is equipped with a camera so it can scan aisles to check for missing and out-of-stock products. The robot also can check for incorrect pricing of items, misplaced product, and mislabeling of inventory in stock. The robot then passes the information back to the employee so that they can make adjustments and stock the shelves quickly and more efficiently. For a retailer such as Walmart, out-of-stock items is a big issue that can cost the company millions of dollars. According to Walmart, the robot is able to scan the shelves quicker than sending out an employee daily to check inventory. If you are running up and down the aisle and you want to decide if we are out of Cheerios or not, a human doesn't do that job very well, and they don't like it, Jeremy King, chief technology officer for Walmart US and e-commerce, told Reuters. However, many employees are worried that these robots will eventually replace them since they are cheaper to employ and there are a lot of people who work for the retail giant. Currently, Walmart employs over 2 million people, which translates to roughly about 1% of the American population, so by using robots and self-checkout that eventually leads to job loss. Here is more from Business Insider. Walmart employs an astounding 2.1 million people. In the United States alone, the company employs 1.4 million people. This is a staggering 1% of the U.S.'s 140 million working population. Walmart, in other words, matters. Its payrolls, and its pay, move the needle. And right now, many people argue, Walmart is very much part of the problem. The average Walmart associate, Wake Up Walmart reports, makes $11.75 an hour. That's $20,744 per year. Those wages are slightly below the national average for retail employees, which is $12.04 an hour. They also produce annual earnings that, in a one-earner household, are below the $22,000 poverty line. On the other hand, these wages are far above the minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. They also aren't that far below the national retail average, only 2.5% below. In a two-earner household, moreover, these wages would produce a household income of $40,000 plus, which, in some areas of the country, is comfortably middle class. Walmart offers benefits to some of its employees, as well as store discounts and profit-sharing plans. Most importantly, in an economy that is desperate to find some way to employ the 25 million Americans who are either unemployed or underemployed, Walmart provides 1.4 million jobs. But Walmart is constantly under attack for reaming its associates, for paying them too little, for putting higher paid workers at other companies out of work, for making a major contribution to the national problems described above. No one can fault Walmart for wanting to cut corners considering the insane amount of government regulations that costs them annually. Programs like Obamacare drains even the largest of companies by forcing them to pay out insurance on part-time employees, 
And then let's not even get started on the push for a $15 minimum wage by social justice warriors. There is no doubt that the cost of living has risen and the wages have remained stagnant, but the majority jobs offered at Walmart are entry-level jobs and not meant to be a career choice. If these employees want to make more money, then they need to focus on a marketable skill other than scanning ice cream and counting empty shelves. Without real skills, your job could be outsourced to a robot who can do the cheaper and with less drama.